This is a modern design mm -hmm. with stone and mahogany wood. Um, and in the front, as you can see, there's a lot of windows. They have the upper windows, the entry tower, and also that be bedroom tower over there on that side. Plenty of light going into the house. It's a very dense wood, mm -hmm. more durable than cedar. This wood actually comes from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. That walkway right there leads to the garage, which is, there's a four car garage, oversized garage. <clears throat> so I, I like the wood. I like the black bark mm -hmm. and how it matches the, the stone. black stone. Yep. All of this is high end. The way this house was designed is that you can see there's no gables in the roof. It's all mm -hmm. hip and valley. Then you can see that this driveway, the way they put the joints kind of matches the walkway. Massive driveway uh, yeah. and an oversized four car garage. I also like that <sighs> you, don't, you don't look at the garage from the from the face of the house. It's kind of like yeah, on the side. That is one of the things and with the design, the architectural committee, they mm -hmm. really like when you design a home here that doesn't have the garages dominate the front. Mm -hmm. So they encourage people to build that house. That house because front, of yeah. the way the way the lot is, it, will, it would be very difficult to put a garage with um, a side entrance yeah. into the garage. So some of the homes, they're just, they have to be on the front, but right. but they really encourage this. And you can see the height of the garage doors. Mm -hmm. These are 10 foot high doors. So you can kind of see like consistency in the design. Let's go around and see, I'll show you something else here. So this here is also uh, designed to hide the trash cans. Oh, okay. So the people golfing over there or walking over there they don't see the trash bin so yeah they don't have to look at your trash yes very good this could be another outdoor patio covered under here if someone mm -hmm. wants to do that just kind of sit here and enjoy the views this is a door which is locked but this is a uh, there's actually in this uh, basement there's mm -hmm. about a thousand square feet of unfinished oh wow basement area so someone needs that area they can finish it you, you could set up and uh, become a youtuber yes <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm well i guess let's go inside and yes sir take a look <clears throat> all right so you see the garage doors the entry yeah. door yeah kind of similar design consistency yep. in the design with black, black steel door with tempered glass and here's a grand entrance 16 foot high ceiling at the entrance mm -hmm. very open and spacious floor plan with dining room great room and kitchen and i can see you have the black accents coming inside the house as well this is all handwork not one of those panels that you buy pre-made yeah these actually these this wood is actually wood that was stained mm -hmm. and each individual um, strips were nailed to the wall. Yeah, it's looking good. I see you have it on the fireplace too. Yep. And by the way, this fireplace here, uh -huh. if you notice, there's a vent above it. So when you turn on the fireplace, you can turn on the fan and you will get heat here without having to run the central heating system so you can mm -hmm. save on en energy with that and the nice thing about having these cabinets if you notice on both sides of the fireplace yeah is that they hide your receiver subwoofer dvd player if people still want to watch some dvds so i'm assuming you have all the um the so you can see that there is electrical outlet mm -hmm. the cat six cables and also areas where um, you can run additional wires mm -hmm. from the tv so that that way you have no wires yeah. visible and you can hide everything hide in here everything in there. yes where'd you get this couch <laughs> it's not bad Damn. Couch. so i noticed on um i think you had it in the other house too, <clears throat> that your waterfalls don't have the outlets here. Yeah, so this uh, builder found another way of hiding the outlets so that you don't have to have an ugly side hole in this beautiful quartzite counter. Because they're required, right? They are required by code. So what this builder did, he thought of, of a creative way 
and put an outlet right there. Mm. So here, mm -hmm. if someone wants to use some kind of appliance, mixer yeah. or whatever, they can plug it in. But the nice thing about even having these outlets in there is that sometimes you have guests over and they want to maybe charge mm -hmm. their phone or any other gadgets. You can just plug it in and leave it in there and yeah. kind of get that uncluttered look. So I see you have a black theme going. Uh, you got the black faucets, got the black handles, black cabinets, and you got some black accents with the, on the walls. Yeah, so this design, they wanted to bring in some contrast because mm -hmm. there's a lot of light features, but then there's this matte black cabinets, the, the hardware on the, on, on the cabinets, and also with the, with the wood features so that it creates this contrast. Like, you, you, like even this design here, this is just a black panel, but the way that they wrap these cabinets in it, uh -huh. it just gives this. Oh, that's a little... panel? I thought it was the wall painted black. No, no, well, oh. you could have, they could oh, have yeah. done that as well, but it it's, is a it's, panel. it's the same material nice as, assume, yeah. yeah, it's the same material as the cabinets. Oh, yeah, I see. We've got a nice view for washing dishes, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, why uh, now you can just enjoy washing the dishes instead of just throwing them in here in this <laughs> dishwasher. And uh, the, the appliances here are monogram mm -hmm. appliances, which is an upgraded uh, okay. brand. Uh -huh. When uh, we were building our own house, uh -huh. my wife was talking to the cabinet guy and mm -hmm. she was like, I want drawers. I okay. want drawers. What you usually get is this. You get a lower cabinet in the kitchen and an upper drawer. Okay. But you see like all this space and there's only two drawers? Yeah. Well, look at this here. So, so this builder, he made sure that there's all these drawers here and look at the size of some of these drawers. Like even here, this is so, this is, this yeah. is so convenient. It's just, there's a look, spice rack here with a drawer. And you know, usually people put a trash can mm -hmm. right here under yeah. this. Yeah. Well, check out this trash can here. Okay, very nice. You know what else I'm noticing? That this stuff is not from Home Depot. No, no, actually, <laughs> these cabinets are Italian, Italian cabinets. Because look, so, I'll, I'll tell you what I noticed. I noticed that this is actual wood. Like it the, 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 Yes, the, it's not the particle board. Yeah, yeah, yep. the frame of the cabinet mm -hmm. itself, it's solid wood. Oh yeah, yeah. No, these, these are high-end cabinets. And everything here is custom made, including even that little uh, wine rack right there. Mm -hmm. um, so, by the way, also we got double ovens here, monogram. Mm -hmm. Then you have the wine captain. But yeah, but like that, the, the selling feature is like so many drawers. I mean, people love it. Like in, mm -hmm. especially when you have a big kitchen, you got all these drawers. All right, so this here is a butler's pantry, which is a really cool, you can, Keep your coffee maker here, your toasters, yeah. uh, a microwave. You can actually bring in after a party all the dirty dishes so you don't have to splash water around and clean them here. There's an additional dishwasher, mm -hmm. a fridge, and also cabinets for storage. And more drawers. More drawers, yes. Now, you, we were talking about earlier in the future, it would be better to build it this way. That way, if someone wants to add an actual stove inside their thing, they can plug directly it, across the wall, right? It's true, yeah. Whenever you have plumbing, especially like gas going through the wall, it would be really, really beneficial to have it on this side because all you have to do is just make a little hole in the wall and bring Do you know it. why they made it on this side? Is it trying to get the plumbing for the sink? I, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Yeah. I have, I don't know. It was just... I guess, so what happens is in California, if mm -hmm. you are going to put a stove um, in, in, in a different, another kitchen, that, that's considered already two kitchens oh. and zoning in this area does not permit. Doesn't even But allow. you have a point there saying maybe it should have been on this side and, and in you know, the future, in the future, if someone wanted. After you pass inspection, yeah. you can hook it <laughs> that's up. That's the way <laughs> The future is uh, right after inspection. Yeah, all right, so this here is a powder room. Let me... 
and you can see that these these lighting fixtures yeah. here um consistent with the consistent kitchen. with the kitchen so yeah. they're kind of cool people like them yeah. like at the open house they're like wow they these. look fluffy um that's now what's this uh, this is a, a long staircase to the garage okay um i mean it would be really nice if this uh, place had um, an elevator of course yeah. for some but for someone who doesn't mind the exercise so we've got the two bedrooms on this side of the house and just mm -hmm. look at the size of these bedrooms oh yeah these usually homes do not have regular bedrooms this size but it is one of the selling features of this home is yeah this i don't one. think bedrooms should be any smaller than than this ever so you have the the glass on your bathtubs yeah so they put in the glass enclosure even where the tub is mm -hmm. and obviously most people when they build a house back home they just put in the rod for a curtain but um this is something i mean this right here is like probably at least 800 bucks yeah uh frameless mm -hmm. um and just the way it closes it and opens it can open this way mm -hmm. it can open this way okay so this is a nice thing. This is a, something that the buyer will appreciate. They'll see, well, the, these the, people, they yeah. even put in. And the black theme. And keeps, the black theme yeah. goes, uh, it's consistent throughout the whole. Matte black here, home. very nice. Look at this fan. Even in a regular bedroom? Yeah, yeah, that's put uh, in a fan like that. A helicopter fan. <laughs> yeah. So the window frames are black. I'm noticing uh, even the hinges, the, hinge. the door hinges are black. What do we have here? This is a laundry room laundry here room. with a nice deep sink, which is so helpful. I also have a, a deep sink in my house and sometimes when I have something delicate to yeah. wash, it's so nice and, to have this. Yeah, and if you have a big, big party, then you wash dishes in the kitchen, <laughs> in the butler's <laughs> kitchen, and here. Yeah. This is when you have a kid, you're like, hey, <laughs> yeah. I got chores for you. Yeah. All right, so, okay, let's check out this room. Okay, so this is another bedroom here that this is part of that exterior design yeah. when we mm -hmm. were in the front we saw i said the tower like it mm -hmm. kind of matches the entry that's not nice big windows mm -hmm. uh, look, i mean almost every room here has a nice view yeah so when somebody moves in here they're probably going to put up some curtains maybe some blinds but then what's nice about having the windows up there is that you can still get sunlight while you have privacy yes yeah. yes that's and also another helicopter yeah. fan over there i like those fans they look all right so this is um, another bedroom and what i like about how they did this is you mm -hmm. see that they put tile on this wall yeah all the way through like so they did not just stop right here but mm -hmm. they went all the way all through the way here and all the way up and that's um, also another thing is like they they made this little short wall instead of putting all the way up here so just making it more spacious okay because sometimes what people do is they build a wall all the way up okay. so um yeah i mean it added an extra panel uh let's go check out the master let's go which man why is this why is this so hot i need to turn this thing off jeez is this some kind of high-end oh. um smart yeah so this is the, the smart thermostat mm -hmm. where you can connect it to your phone mm -hmm. via vi a wi-fi so let's say you're out somewhere and you want to turn on the heater or turn on the ac mm -hmm. when you're still not home you can do it from your from your phone yeah oh let's check out this, this okay room. so this here is another bedroom or a den they fur they staged it like as a as a den it could be an office here oh yeah with a really large walk-in closet mm -hmm. it's nice man i i'm just impressed they put in these fans in all the bedrooms i mean usually people put in this kind of fan like in the great room uh, master you know everywhere that i've lived rented and if they had fans i'd never really use them i'm the same here yeah i never it, but it looks cool it's just so yeah. yeah 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 it's uh, mainly for aesthetics yeah. i think um but you're right but some people use them, you know, like I've seen like older people do not turn on the AC during uh, mm -hmm. summer, mm -hmm. but they run these fans. Mm -hmm. They open the windows uh, when, the, when the air is still cooler. And here's the master. 
do you notice like this, exactly the same door as in the great room? So yeah. you can open it like this and just enjoy the fresh air, the birds singing. Then you have a golf course here. Yeah, so this home sits right on the 16th hole of Dark Horse Golf Course. And this lot is actually a premium lot. You know, people pay extra to be on the golf course, especially oh, okay. those who love that lifestyle, golfing. Now, are you allowed to just go out there and start golfing? Well, you have to go through the- Or you, or uh, you the, gotta be the, part of the club? There is a membership mm -hmm. uh, fee to play golf. Well, Some this is bones. a nice, sizable, um, sizable bedroom. There's a lot of space, and there's different things you can actually do with this bedroom as far as uh, you can furnish it in so many different ways. So you can have your TV on that wall. Mm -hmm. um, you can add another couch. Right. You can add a couple chairs here. I mean, there's just, besides the bed and the nightstands, there's so, so much more room to Wow, and this is this is definitely an airplane uh, propeller <laughs> fan right there. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. I mean, it, it, those <laughs> things like when you turn it on, like you really feel the air. Yeah. Are we gonna turn it on? Oh. <laughs> Next thing you know, Arnold is <laughs> running in here. He's like, "Get in the chopper." <laughs> <laughs> So like when you're yeah. laying here, here on the bed, you oh, definitely yeah, I can feel, feel it. I can even feel it over here. Oh yeah. And I like how it sounds. It's, it's actually weird. very calming. It is. I'd literally turn it on just to like. That's a, it's crazy. And it's also, something. you know, notice the, the color, black, yeah. matte, consistent with yep. the doors, the windows, the what is going on in here? Hold on. Okay, so is let's this check another this out. bedroom? Yeah, this is another bedroom, but it's not a bedroom. It's a closet. If someone wants, they can reconfigure this yeah. closet yeah. because I mean, this right here is just shelving. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. easy to just remove it and put in nice cabinetry. Um, if someone wants to, they can either uh, they can even add another like a island here mm -hmm. uh, for jewelry. So the last thing we got left here is to check out the master bath so you've got the toilet area here double sinks with black matte quartz countertop mm -hmm. and a makeup area here and they have they did the they put in the freestanding tub with look at all these jets yeah 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 those are they look kind of cute oops yeah it even works did you try yeah. it no not yet mm -hmm. But did you notice this wall? Yeah, uh, keeps going with this uh, consistent accent wall. Yep. So we saw this in the dining. Mm -hmm. We saw this in the fire on the fire fireplace. Mm -hmm. Then we have it here. So it kind of flows. Yeah. I'm really loving the mat, though. I really love the mat, especially like on here. It's yeah. very clean work. And also, like, look at this. Look at this shower. Mm -hmm. The color of the tile kind of matches with the color of the counter here. Also black finishes. This, you have that shower head, then you have the mm -hmm. this um, handle thing where it rinse off. And, you got and then you got right these here. jets here. By the way, you know, you know what I like about this matte uh, tile is the fact that when you shower here, the only thing you have to squeegee down is the Mm -hmm. is the glass yeah here like you don't even have to bother but if you would have really shiny then you would see the water spots yeah so you would have to constantly like squeegee the water down wipe it so that you don't see the the water spots hardwood uh, engineered mm -hmm. white oak european white oak hardwood floors and that's the same floor all throughout the house yeah yes and you know what this thing here is i do actually that's um there's another one right there. Yep. Also, surround sound. Oh. They've is, already is installed the speakers. Yes. Okay. Yes. So this house is located at 12828 Austin Forest Circle, and it's in Dark Horse Community. If you want to check it out, give us a call, reach out to us, and we will gladly show it to you. Oh, by the way, look at that. Look at that cool thing right there on the table. Was it naturally done like this or they had to do something to it? But 
I don't know what kind of wood this is. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. I think it's actual wood or plastic. Bro, it's wood. Why wouldn't it be wood? <laughs> because it's no, to just no, it's wood. It's wood. Dupl is this real wood? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And she's like, woodpecker's gonna get it. I'm like, <laughs> Are you what? serious? She's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and then she walks in. She's like, oh, I wonder. Like all these homes look alike. You have the dining, you have the kitchen, you have the great room. And yeah. I'm thinking like, yeah, you yeah, need like, a dining, okay. you need a kitchen, you need a <laughs> dining. That's right. <laughs> but it was just it's so crazy funny. That, that we made it look alike. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's talking about like how it's so close to the golf course. The, these windows are going to be shattering mm -hmm. because the ball, golf balls are going to come and flying. And bro, any home, that home yeah. right there, last year we sold it. Open house. Same couple comes in. And they are just, just walking around and they're just pointing out anything. It, there's nothing negative, yeah, but yeah, they, yeah. They, 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 they manufacture negativity out of everything. Taylor's like, I, I always wonder, like, what is going on in, in, in those people's mind? Like, why? It's what called, must they have, it's like... It's called, uh, they're jealous. Like, they're taking it to a whole nother level, that, that jealousy.